Hi, my name is Audra Platt. I'm an estate planning attorney here at Pittman Law Office, and today I'm going to talk about life estates, sometimes known as right of occupancy. So where we see life estates is where a person owns a home or a piece of property, whether it's their primary residence or a rental property or a second home, and they want someone else to be able to live in that home after they pass away. Well, in that situation, we have to say, okay, this person can live in the home after our client passes, and then after the person that's living in the home passes away, they want that house to go to maybe their children or grandchildren or nieces or nephews. So in a situation like this, we generally have our client. They own the house, they want their significant other, they want their partner, they want a child to be able to live in that house for their lifetime, or maybe, three or four years after the client passes away. So that's called a limited life estate, where we are limiting the amount of time that that person is allowed to stay in that house. But also ensuring that after that person passes away that was living in that home, the house goes to the client's beneficiaries. So surrounding the life estate or a right of occupancy, we need to discuss and ensure that our clients and the person that's able to live in that home has an understanding of who's going to pay the bills, who's going to pay the ordinary expenses. Well, what if we need a new air conditioner? What if the house needs to be painted? What about taxes and mortgage and insurance? Who is responsible for those type of expenses? All in your revocable trust, we can have that dictated. We can make sure that the person that's living in the home, they pay the ordinary expenses, but then anything that's not ordinary, that's maybe bigger purchases for the home, then maybe the trust, so the client's money is used to help pay for some of those expenses. Again, this is called a life estate, a limited life estate, or sometimes a right of occupancy. Now these can be very, very complicated and complex and it can cause issues between the person that's living in the home and the ultimate beneficiaries. So it's very good to have a detailed conversation between your attorney and your client and the people that you want to be able to live in that home and also your ultimate beneficiaries to make sure and manage everyone's expectations. But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call or email us. We can help you set up an estate plan that encompasses one of these life estates or right of occupancies, or see if that's actually best in your situation. Our number is 352-399-6944. Thank you.